So we're going across. Good morning. Hi. I join you right here, Dr. Rachel Ecker. Welcome to the show. Good morning. And we are talking about the truth about fat reduction. Yes. I know you were here about a year ago in Trinidad and Tobago because you're based back and forth. Where are you based? I'm based in Trinidad, in Trinidad, but I, I do do a lot of lecturing internationally at conferences and to other doctors, but I am based You're here. You're based here. Good news. And uh, what is the truth about fat reduction? So today I want to talk about cool sculpting, which is the number one way to non-surgically eliminate unwanted fat. <laughs> So prior to cool sculpting, the alternative was something like liposuction. Mm -hmm. Now liposuction, as you can imagine, is a surgical procedure. There's anesthesia involved, there's downtime. You know, sometimes you can have some botched results. And this is something that you need to take about two weeks off from your job in order to have. Mm -hmm. Now, what we see a lot happening today with a full body liposuction, this can run somebody like 15, 20, 30,000 US to have something like this procedure with the anesthesia and the downtime, etc. Cool sculpting was developed at Harvard University as an alternative to liposuction. Right. No surgery, no needles, no downtime, no anesthesia, and it takes 35 minutes. Really? Mm -hmm. So how does it work? So cool sculpting actually first came about through popsicles. Yeah. So what some scientists at Harvard University realized was that children who were coming into the emergency room sucking on ice lollies would develop dimples in their cheeks. And so they realized that there was a relationship between cold and fat loss. Mm -hmm. So Harvard scientists did some studies and then they developed the cool sculpting machine. And what it does is that it uses cold therapy, so it's a cold laser, to selectively target fat cells. So it doesn't do anything to the skin, the nerves, the blood vessels, it just specifically targets your fat cells and it eliminates unwanted fat through a process called pryolipolysis. Mm -hmm. And how many procedures would you have to do or to undergo to really get into the size that you would like? So the great thing with, with cool sculpting is that it is the only FDA approved cold laser cryolipolysis right. machine. Yes. So it's the original, it's trusted, it's proven. Now, it's also the only machine that has the most amount of FDA cleared areas that you can treat. Yes. So literally anywhere from your chin to your knees, if you can squeeze the fat, we yes. can treat it. Right. Okay. Now, it depends on the amount of fat that you have in the area. Let's just say you have a tummy that is this big, okay? And we know that from <laughs> <laughs> we know that from proven clinical trials and ultrasound guided trials, we know that every time you do cool sculpting, you get between a 22 and a 33 percent reduction in the volume of fat in that area. Proven every yeah. time. Yeah. Now, if you have a tummy and it's you have a little bit of a pudge, okay? So mm -hmm. diet and exercise, nothing can get rid of that little bit of extra fat that you have there. You're going to need one cycle, one session, one treatment to get your results. Okay. But if the total amount of fat that you have in that area is like this, you may need two sessions okay, in so order really to get... it really depends on how much fat you want to remove it, or you need to remove. It depends on your consultation, okay. which is why it's important to come in, have a consultation, learn about the procedure, let us squeeze you, <laughs> let us tell you squeeze whether... Squeeze me! <laughs> let us tell you whether you are yes. a perfect candidate for this, because not everybody is a candidate for cool sculpting. Ah. So there's two types of fat. Yes. There's fat that can occur on the inside of the abdominal cavity, so inside a around the organs, which is the worst type of fat. This is the fat that causes heart disease, diabetes. And then the second type of fat is the fat that is external to the body cavity. Mm -hmm. So you can, you can squeeze it, you can feel it, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, it's important that we remember that if you have fat on the inside, so you know sometimes you see these gentlemen and they've got the big, big tummy out yes, here, yes. and you squeeze it and it's rock hard. There's yes. nothing on the outside, yes. it's all on the inside. Yes. That requires diet and exercise to lose that internal fat. Okay. But once it's on the outside and you can squeeze it, then we can certainly freeze it. Dr. Eccles, um, how, how, how costly? I don't necessarily need you to give the cost, the actual cost, but is it something that you'd have to go and take a loan to necessarily do? So in comparison to something like liposuction that can cost 15,000 US and upwards, it's way more economical, okay? So the price depends on your body and it's important to have that full body assessment, a 360 assessment mm -hmm. for us to tell you how we think we're going to get your best results. Because for example, the number one area that women come in complaining about 
is their lower tummy, yeah. okay? Now, we want to we want to have a nice side profile and mm -hmm. have a flat lower tummy. Without having to squeeze it in all the time. Or <laughs> constantly wear spanks, yes. <laughs> right? Yes. So, so women come in complaining of their lower tummy, but our favorite area to treat is actually the flanks, which is the area just behind here. This is actually treatment of, uh, this is an arm, so this is, this is a nice area that we can treat as well. We need to well. talk, we need to talk, that <laughs> arm, definitely. So with the, that we can wear the, uh, the, the, the dresses and the tops without sleeves. Yes. Um, but what's important is that it's very important that we maintain shape, yes. meaning that when we treat a patient, it's not, they may come in complaining of their lower tummy, but what's important is that we love to do the flanks because yeah. the flanks in a woman will give you the Kim Kardashian hourglass <laughs> curves. And we know that the Kardashians are huge fans of cool sculpting. We know yes. that Khloe Kardashian has had it done. We know people like uh, Jennifer Aniston. So it's, it's a huge, hugely popular. I wanna go back to, well, the picture that you just saw with the chin, almost like the double chin, that's another area that women especially are very concerned about. So I'm not sure the before and after images showing that well on the TV, but you can certainly check out our Instagram page or my Facebook page yes. at Dr. Rachel Eckel, and you can see these uh, in a little bit more scalable because these are incredible before and afters. Yes. Yes. But what we do know is that in Trinidad, the number one area yeah. that women yeah. like to have treated is yeah. actually the double chin. Yes. So it's called the submental region right here. And if you look at a lot of the, the celebrities in Hollywood and you see they have these beautiful chiseled jawlines and you see these before and afters on yes. Instagram, a lot of them are having cool sculpting and it gives you a beautiful, thin, slim jawline that is really well defined. Mm -hmm. This is also quite popular in men. Because in men, we know that a well-chiseled square jawline signifies lots of testosterone. We see a lot of leaders have this sort of jawline, a lot of presidents, okay, a lot of CEOs. So this is something that we, we want to accentuate in a male and give them more of that, that shapely jawline with the cool sculpting procedure. Yes, and you said that it takes about 35 minutes the procedure, how long does it take? Yeah, so it takes 35 minutes for the applicator to go on. And usually when it goes on, it feels a little bit cold, like you're putting an ice pack on yeah. the skin. And then after about 10 minutes, it goes numb. It's yeah. really comfortable. I've had it done myself. I've had about five different areas treated. Yes. I love my results. I had it done about a year and a half ago. And we also know that results are permanent. This is a really common question that patients ask. I was ask. just about to ask you if there was, there, you know, if we had to follow up, if yeah. you have to keep doing it every two years. And what if I gain weight? Yes. Then what happens? Yeah. Does it all come back and I have to do it again? It doesn't. Well, don't, don't, don't give it away because <laughs> you're back. You are back, uh, Dr. Rachel Eckel is here with us again in the next few minutes, but we cross over to Rishi now. Thank you very much for coming in this morning, but you are back with us in the next maybe 15 minutes or so.